Hello, and welcome to another PC Perini tutorial. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, today, we will be going over the two audio programs that I speak much of. One, Jet Audio, an MP3 player. And two, the fabled Audacity. Ooh, Audacity. Uh, my audio editor uh, that I use so much. Um, Jet Audio is a media player. If I misspoke, I'm sorry. I think I might have. Um, let's see here. Scroll through and open up Jet Audio. And it is actually currently running up here in my taskbar. So uh, we should um, go ahead and quit that and see if it'll run again. Did that help any? Uh, maybe? No. Uh, so we will just go ahead and maximize it from that part right there. That brings up your uh, media center, which you can shrink down into this little skinny bar here. Which you can unload. Load. Un. un stick on you can move it off of the taskbar and move it around and it'll stick back into place at the top and bottom you can bring up your media center which gives you all you have all of your good uh spinny and whirly things um no in all seriousness um it's uh, gives you a lot of options um here you can open from a URL very useful if your friend sends you a link and not a file. Bothersome. And you can also open regular files. Um, I apologize if you're not going to be able to hear audio from this, but uh, the audio quality is good and I will attempt to narrate what I can. Song that everyone knows. Aha! The opening theme to WTF Films. Well, the original song from it. Um, no, you can't hear anything. I'm sorry. Uh, but when it stops, it gets a very, it has a very cool fade out. And it's very interesting. Um, and, uh, if you were to write that to a CD, that would also give you the exact same fade out. And, uh, it's just very good quality, high, high quality program, good quality sound. Um, and it's totally free. Uh, the only program that I believe that is not totally free that I use is Fireworks. And that is because that was a grant from uh, a family business, actually. They gave me that program. See, you can go through and edit randomizations and things of that nature. Bring up your playlist. Your media center. Playlist is just a little window that has all your media on it. And, uh, oh, where did it go? <gasps> there it is. It, uh, hides itself for you. So, yeah, never have to worry about it again. Um, open up your... This is officially your media center. That is where all of your song lists and everything are held, much like Windows Media Player. You can mess with the skins. Um, Jet Audio has a hard time with skins not made by Jet Audio Inc. And it might be my computer. Pardon, but it very well might be the program too. Uh, so while it's cool, it uh, that part bothers me a good deal. Um, but that's okay. We move on with our lives and pick one from Jet Audio. You can record and do all your basic media things. Write a CD, listen to music, and So that's Jet Audio. Now we move on to Audacity. Da, 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 da. Audacity is a great program. As you can see, I'm recording. <laughs> and now we're live. Sorry. Um, like I said, you're not going to be able to hear much. Um, I'm going to attempt to load a song in just to show you how to do it. Alright, so we're going to go into Explorer and uh, pull up a window. Let us see, let us see, let us see, let us see. Uh, same song. We're not gonna take it. 
No! We ain't gonna take it. Alright, then I'll stop now. I'm not the best singer. Especially when I'm not singing with someone else. Um, this takes a while to load in. Audacity, while the greatest program of all time for freeware, is uh, not the greatest program of all time for speed. So it might take a few minutes. Alright, now we've got that loaded in. Uh, you're not going to be able to hear it again. I'm very, very sorry. Um, there are many things you can do. Add all kinds of effects. It's, it's so cool. Um, change pitch, change tone, change speed, change beat, track beat, reverse, inverse, which makes go to if that made any sense at all, I'm sorry. Um, and just, it's it's an amazing program. And uh, scroll through here, give you a good idea of what you can do. Like I said, there's just so many things you can do with this program. I've barely even scratched the surface, and I've had it for a month and a half. And when I get software, I dig into it. If I don't use it, I get rid of it. So you know that I've been working on it a lot. In fact, I recommend that. It's a good strategy. That if you get software, use it. If you don't use it, get rid of it always download it again if it's freeware. If it's not, you can always use the CD and install it again. Just take some space in your hard drive that you don't need taken up. Unless you've got, like, my, uh, my tech teacher, he's got two, three, two to four terabytes of hard drive space. So you can see all the things you can do here. See that, uh, audio levels jump and spike. Alright, well that is Audacity. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope I haven't bored you too much with my uh, audio editing programs. Um, I, I really do. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this and uh, woot.